Hello my YouTube friend, this is Not Mechanic here and today I'm going to do a review on the Autofix BMW 5900 Multi-System Scanner This is an OBD2 scanner for cars I received an email from this company and they wanted me to do a review on their product I did email them back and I said to them the only way I would do a review on the OBD2 scanner was if I can do an honest review and guess what they emailed me back and said we are going to send you the product and you could do an honest review so already there they already got a point from me there now this um, auto fix scanner was mostly designed for BMWs and mini Royce Royce you can use it for any cars but it was mostly designed for BMWs and Rolls Royce. I think it's a BMW 2 Series, 3 Series, 4 Series, 5 Series, and a C Series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write all the series in the bottom of, on the description below. And also the Rolls Royce, the mini Rolls Royce um, model that this can take. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside, we're going to open it, see what's in here. And then we're going to go to my Kia that has an engine light and we're going to see how this function works and I am going to do my honest review I'm not going to compare it with no other OBD2 scanner I'm just going to do my review on this scanner and what I think about it so let's go inside so let's get it open this is how it looks when it comes also you can read the back here maybe you can pause it and read what it says it has the model numbers of what scanners they have. So let's get it open. Okay. Comes with the user's manual right here. Also it comes with a USB cable. This cable is in case you want to upgrade the scanner. Because the scanner here, it feels, it feels very light. I love this rubber piece here. And the reason why I love this protector here is because many times I have worked in cars and I have used other scanners and they slip out of my hand. I think this is a plus for the scanner that they put this right here to hold. That's a plus. I like that. The cable is nice and thick. The pin, I don't know how long is it, but it looks very good. It looks light. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go see what functions does it have. And let's see what my engine light is all about in my car. So the first thing we're going to do with this Autofix 5900. OBD scanner is we're going to connect it to the car and you see those pins they're going to go right in the car down here and once you plug it as you saw the brand of auto fix came out and then all the functions some of the functions that this OBD scanner has as you see the first one is OBD2 the second one is for BMW the third one is for oil reset. The fourth one is EPB reset, battery, BMS reset, ETC reset, tool setup. I cannot help it, but this thing is very, very light. You can hold this. The grip is feels really, really good. I can put this in my pocket and just walk with it. Now, what we're going to do is, like I said, my car has the engine light on and so what we're going to do, we're going to take the key and we're going to put it on the on position. Once you put it on the on position, it looks, it looks simple. So let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to press the OBD2 and once we press the OBD2, we're going to press OK. As you see, a lot of things came on, entering the system and boom, that was quick monitor status 
So it has everything in there. Ignition sparks. Data stream supported. 36. It has DTC. And this ECU is 1. Readiness 8. Yes. So it has all this in here. So let's press OK. Let's see what it gave us. So what we're going to do. We're going to read the code. And we're going to find out. What is the code in my car? And that was quick. So you have the ECU. So it's two of them. So what you're going to do is press OK. And once I press OK, it gave me a code. PO133. It says O2 sensor circuit slow. Responding back one, sensor one. That's one of them. And you can see it has the arrows to go up and down. I want to know what's number two. Number two is the same thing. PO133. And then the same thing. PO133. Now, I never had no type of training with this OBD scanner, with this multi-system scanner. And it looks very easy. That right there. I just press buttons and everything came out so I know now what's wrong with my car. And an OBD scanner could save you a lot of money. And this one right here is just easy to work because I didn't know how to work it. Look, I just press OK and everything came out. So now it gave us that. So we're going to press um, escape. So it, that one is permanent. That code says permanent. So it's been there. So what we're going to do is we're going to press escape to get out of there. Then you have erase, IBM readiness, data stream, vehicle information. So let's go over here to IM readiness. And we're going to press OK. And look. Look at that. You see how fast that thing came up? So you have... A lot of readiness airbags has a, a cross on it. I don't know what that means. And then the HCA cat. So it's readiness. That is good. That was fast. So let's see what else we have here. Let's see how where else we go for him. About the background color. Blue normal background. Green monitor complete. Orange monitor not complete. Gray monitor not applicable about the short name. So you see that if you didn't know the colors of that, what we just press, it show you what the colors are. So now I know what the gray means. It means monitor not ap applicable. So that was cool. Escape. So there it goes. So it gave us the colors and everything what it means. Let's do that again. About the background color, blue, normal, background, green, monitor, complete, orange, monitor, not complete, gray, monitor, not applicable, about the short name, that was cool, so, he gave us all that, we learned all that, so now we're going to press OK, Oh, let's press escape, sorry. Then data stream. Let's see what the data stream gives us. Press OK. ACU. View all items. Okay, so these are all our items. Wow. Fuel system status. Fuel system. Engine cooling temperature. It has everything. Data stream in there. Then you press down. Long term. Intake manifold, engine, ignition timing advance, oxygen sensor output. Let's see. Number of warm ups 59. So it's 34 of them. Fuel air comma commanding, control modular, catalyst temperature. So this little thing has everything cover let me see with my oxygen sensor okay because it was bank one right bank one let's see where is that bank one 
Short term fuse. Output voltage bank one, sensor two. I think that's what it says. So we have 41. So this thing cover a lot of things in here. So let's escape out of here. Let's see what else we can find here. Escape, escape. Then vehicle information. It'll give you the vehicle information too. Let's escape out of here. Let's see what else we can find. Yep, I want to escape. Let's escape again. Okay. So now, let's go and see what's going on with this BMW thing they got here. All you do is press the arrow, go to BMW, press OK. It says, instruction. The vehicle may not be compatible with all system and function. If you have any question, please contact us. We will try our best to solve the problem for you. Okay, so we're going to press OK. And once we press OK, it tells you what to select a brand of car. BMW Sirius, Mini Sirius, Rolls Royce Sirius, and selected system dynos. Let's see. Let me just pick BMW just to see. So it gives you all the series. You got series one, series two, all the way to series seven. Right here. So this is all the BMW that this thing takes. So let's escape out of here. And let's go for mini series dynos. Okay. So it gives you all the select chassis. Whoa, this is cool. Has a lot of cool stuff in here. So let's escape out of here. Let's pick, let's pick, let's pick Royce Royce. Okay. And it gives you all the brand you you pick whichever car you have. Let me just press this just to see what it gives me. Basic function, special function, erase all system for coal. So when you have the Royce Royce. And you pick the one you have, it will this will come out. So let's escape out of here. And let's go to you also got all your reset. You also got BMS reset. So let's go to battery. Let's go to the battery. Let's see what it says about the battery. Let's press OK. Please turn off engine. Current voltage is 12.3. And now, start the engine. Press OK. Detecting the engine voltage is high. Please make sure that the engine was turned off. I guess because I had the car on before. OK. Start the engine. So there it goes. It gave me the voltage. So it has like a little diagram. About my battery. Wow, this is this. I'm impressed with this little with this little thing right here. I'm really impressed. Alright, let's turn off the car. And let's escape. So it has two setup ETC. ETC reset so I'm not gonna go no more into it if not this video is gonna be long now if it was me I would definitely get one of this with all the functions it has it has a lot of functions it has like I say it has it also has ABA bleeding ABS bleeding it has that it has throttle reset it has injector coding, gear learning. It has a lot of function, this little thing. Now, on a BMW, when you change a battery, you have to register the battery. And this little thing registers a BMW battery. If you go to a dealer to register your battery on a BMW, they're going to charge you $150. That's without a no doubt. So I think this little thing... For whatever it costs, I think when I looked it up, it was like $80. I 
I think is worth it. Will I buy one of these auto fix 5900? Yes, I will. So once again, this is now mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if nonmechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.